Yo guys, what is going on? This is Shift Master and welcome to part three of the Urban Building Let's Build. Alright guys, what is going on? I have read your comments and I think I have decided what store I'm going to build under here. A lot of people have said cafes and stuff like that, restaurants, and I mean, in all honesty, there's enough restaurants here, so I'm not going to do a restaurant or a cafe. What I'm actually going to do, because I saw a lot of people saying a thrift store, so I'm going to do a thrift store slash use electronics, and it's going to be called Thrifty Shifty, <laughs> if, that's, if that works. So um, real quick, I actually want to look around, because when I first started this building, there's like nothing, nothing around, and now like... It's super dense here. There's like people built everywhere and it's like you got cool stuff like that. You can see in there and like, man, looks amazing. Like this building is look really cool. Does it say who built this? Hydro Spoon. From what I saw, Hydro Spoon did a lot of building here. So congrats to you. But next time, just do uh, one build at a time, man. One build at a time. So, all right. So, yeah, I just want to go around here. Look at some stuff. I even did expansion and people are already starting building. Finally, someone's doing a building that's three floors instead of two. Everyone's doing two. But that's fine. That's fine. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get back on track so I can start doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, it's going to be called Thrifty Shifty. Let's see. How should I make the sign? Thrift, thrifty Shifty. Yeah, there we go. Let's say like thrifty shifty. Wait a minute. Yeah. Thrifty shifty. Thrift store and and used electronics. That's not how you spell it. Use electronic. Fine, I'll go with it. Yeah, I'll go with that. And use electronic. Because I'm from Asia and I don't say that. I say electronic. I got use electronic. Anyway, that's racist. All right, so let's go ahead and do some finishing off things like add a door here. Like so. This will be like a storage room. But real quick, let's go ahead and get started on the actual store area. So like we can put the maybe the counter here for when you go up to buy stuff. I'm looking for that, yeah. Put that there. I don't know, I'm kind of using some like strange arbitrary uh, size. One, two, three, four. Actually, I want to make it, make it five. Just make it odd, I don't know. All right, so let's see. How should we do this? How should we do this? First, let's add some crown molding. Crown molding. Around here. Unfortunately, um, later on this week, I'll be going home and to visit my uh, parents for Memorial Day so unfortunately I won't be able to do a live stream even though I haven't done one in a while anyway but when I first started doing them I said I was going to try and do one like every weekend and my plan was to do one every weekend my mom asked me if I was coming home for Memorial Day I said sure I don't know why I don't really know but it'll be all right I don't know. Put a plant there. All right. So this is supposed to be a thrift store, and use electronics. So, how should we go about doing this? 
let's see. So maybe we can put and maybe we can put like let's see in front of the window. We can put like I'm trying to think. Oh, I know. Like on this wall we can have some shelves for clothes. Clothes. Maybe something like that. Put some trap doors on it for some texture. I am not good at furnishing stores, so this is just all this is completely off the top of my head. So we have like stuff like that, and then we can have some hangers up here where the clothes would go. Alright, and then I'm trying to think. Cause you know like the circular racks you can put in the middle of the floor and then you like when I was a kid I used to climb in them. Maybe we can have that, then we can have like different color wools to be the clothes. Ah, not that. And do something like that maybe. That looks like a clothes rack. Looks like about as close to a clothes rack as it's gonna get. Maybe something like that. Of course, get different wool now. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Then here, I'll have like a running something. Like a carpet, carpet runner. Actually, make that black. Yeah, now I kind of like that better. All right, and then along here, maybe we'll have some shelves. Actually, I can like hang artwork maybe. And then right here, I'll have like some cell phones. Over here, I have some computers or something. Yeah, I can do that. Let's see. So maybe we can hang like some artwork along here. Nope. I want to look a little bit more ordered than that. I'm trying to go into order, but we'll see how it works. Ends up working out. Because knowing my luck, it's probably going to be like odd by the time it gets down here. Oh no, actually that works out fine. So we can do that. And I have like a long table in here with like various things on it. Ah. How'd that happen? Alright. I don't know. And that will just, this could be like the, I don't know. Uh, let me think. Be like the clearance rack or something. We'll just have like random stuff on it. I didn't mean to throw that sapling out. I mean to put it in there. Have stuff like that. I don't know. Just put random stuff on it. That'll be like the clearance rack. Then like over here, you would have be like a showcase for like used phones. Hmm. Hmm. Cause my idea was I can put beacons here for light. Put something on top of it. I put these here. I put like phones or something that might look like a phone right there. If I do the same here, it's only gonna be like one space there. So maybe I'll just yeah, I'll just do that. There we go. So we'll do that. I have to scratch my ear. I think I have an ear infection because like my ear has been bothering me the last couple of days, and it it sucks because I can't really hear out of it. And like I'll be talking to my roommates and. Like I hate, I hate having to repeat myself. So I hate having to ask people to repeat their self. Cause I know it's annoying. But like it sucks, I can't hear crap. And it's only one ear, it's only one ear. So like my left ear is good, my right ear is like, oh. And I don't really know how to 
fix it other than just like letting it let it clear itself out. So I guess these are phones. Don't judge me. I don't really know how to make phones. Oh yeah, so I was gonna make a laptop thing right there. So fix change that. And these are phones. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way. Let's see. What could I put right there to make it look like a phone? Oh, put a switch. No, now I've just made a redstone circuit. That's not what I wanted. Well, I've put a trip wire hook. Trip wire hook. I can't put it on top. Dang it. All right, you know what? Yeah, we'll just have a bunch of switches actually instead of. Yeah, I think these will look better anyway. There we go. So now you have phones. You look at them, scroll through the screen, see all the nasty pictures that the previous owner. Anyway, <laughs> I've actually done it before. I was at a store and I was looking at some phones because I'm, you know, I'm a tech guy. So I just I look at phones at stores, even though I have no intention to buy any of them because they're all overpriced. Anyway, I was looking at a phone and I was looking through the pictures and lo and behold, I guess someone, either the phone was used at one point in time or something or like while it was sitting at the display thing, they took a picture and it was some boobs. So that was fun. <laughs> I don't know what, how that happened, but there was boobs in the phone. Um, and there's other various things I don't really want to get into more detail about, but I thought that was pretty strange to be in a store where kids and stuff go in and they're probably more prone to look at the phones than adults. But yeah, that, that was, that was on there anyway. So we got some laptops there, some used laptops. We got some used phones. We got some clothes. We don't have any lighting. So let me fix that. See, put some lighting. This is what I call. Tr this is what it is called track lighting. I think I've explained this in a video before, so you guys should be very familiar with the track lighting. Then I put some pendant lights over these, like sir. All right, there we go. So we have this. I thought I put buttons here. I guess I didn't. I meant to put buttons here. Just to give it a little bit of texture. All right, and then we need two computers here. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm gonna do that. Actually, no. We'll use stairs for like cash registers. I was gonna put computers for cash registers. Let me just use these chairs. Yeah, just use the chairs for cash registers. And bring him up there. All right, there we go. <laughs> and then we'll put some like item frames on the sides. There. So like be behind here working. Hello, sir. Oh, you'd like to buy that old iPhone 4? That would be $400. $400? It's used. Yeah. It's actually refurbished. Thank you very much. So we can charge more for it. Stupid. All right. So and then the storage room back here, which I completely, almost completely forgot about. Oh, and I still need to do this part back here. I see no one did their behind their stores back there. I'm gonna do behind my store. Then I'll let you guys know. Something like that. Then this storage room. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Oh, well first off, I need some lighting. In here, then get rid of all of this useless crap. Get some chests, jukebox, crafting table, some spider web, and 
don't know, some other various things. I'm not really going to blow the place up. But All right. Just get some of that. Oh, need some bookcases too. There we go. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Something like that. Why does when you place TNT it makes like the sound of sand or dirt or something? I always thought that was strange. TNT that isn't doesn't sound like sand or dirt when you use it. Or does it? I've never used it, so I wouldn't know. And then when you place when you place uh spider webs, it sounds like you're placing like stone or something. Yeah, welcome to Minecraft. Alright, so this is storage room. There's a bunch of stuff back there. Alright, so let's look through real quick. We got the counter, phones, used laptops, clearance racks. We got clothes. More clothes will be hung up and folded up there. Now for the back. The back lot was supposed to be used for like parking. But I don't think it's big enough for parking. So, let's see how it works out. Let's make it a little bit daytime back here. It's kind of dark. Set it to dawn so the sun's rising. Do something like that, and then I don't know. Maybe put some small parking spaces back here. There's a cave down there. Wow, that is a cave. That is some kind of cave. I'm not gonna go down there though. All right, so we got that, and then I'm gonna put some little plants over there. Real quick, I need to put some sort of landing for these stairs. There we go. Uh, the bud, bud, seeds. I hate, I kind of hate how the new update, like, because used to be when you went bone meal to it, it would be fully grown, but now you got to do it a couple times. Yeah, we're just like, really? I don't, what is that supposed to do? Does it like, give you experience if you're uh, doing it in survival I'm not sure so I think that's pretty much it uh, next episode I will finish off these stairs do the upstairs apartment and do some stuff to the roof but I do believe this bottom part is pretty much done I forgot to put windows right there that's not what I wanted to do at all Alright, let's go in the front, look real, real quick, really real quick. Alright, so we got my thrift store, thrifty shifty. Got the nice front, the street looks amazing, so I gotta thank you guys for that. I couldn't have done this whole street by myself. And we got the back, I might as well just add the windows to the back. Later on out come back and add some more detail to the back so it doesn't look all plain and stuff maybe some plants or something so that's pretty much it for this episode stay tuned for the next one where i furnish the upstairs apartment like comment subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you guys next time